Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. We've just got hold of the A10C2 tank killer and the first thing you guys have asked from us is to see can you do air to air with the new APKWS laser guided rockets. I haven't got the foggiest so we're going to go and find out. Uh, let's just quickly arm the weapons and get everything ready. Let's get our teapot out. We can do air to air or air to ground. I should prefer air to ground. Make it soy. Find a baddie visually. There is a C-130. Let's move our teapot up to go and find him. Let's see if we can get him. Uh, lovely. Uh, let's go to IR with a boat switch. Probably like that. Point track TMS up short. Zoom in to get some good clarity. And let's laser designate 4.8 miles. Okay. Let's go and get him, everyone. Going to have to keep an eye on him visually. There he is. Uh, laser designate 3.8 miles. So let's try that. Laser designate and rock it out. Not sure if they're leading. I couldn't really see. Distance 2.6 miles. Rock it out. Rock it out. Yeah! All the rockets out. Ha ha ha! Wow, how about that? We'll hit him with about, how many, we hit him with three rockets, those first three rockets. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, it's actually the first time I've tried that, and that was really effective. Uh, the only limit, if helicopters are going to be easy, the only limiting factor is, as soon as you start doing fighters or manoeuvring aircraft, what you're going to find is your T-body is going, going to start losing lock. So in terms of, you know, dog fighting and stuff, it's not going to help. But for shooting down stuff like that, that is not going to manoeuvre, and is big, really easy. Anything to add to that, Super RC? No. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later.